Fort Porto Tourism City is located in Kabarole District, located in Western Uganda. It is also home to Toro Kingdom. Fort Porto was named after Sir Gerald Porto, a British Special Commissioner for Uganda, whose statue graces the main road of the town. It is also strategically located between Renzori Mountains, Shivale National Park and Queen Elizabeth National Park. This week, the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities has started engaging Toro Kingdom in bid to boost and promote tourism. Key among the initiatives is the Echoto Hampango Cultural Festival that will be held annually. It entails many activities like the Royal Tour, headlined by the King, sports activities, business clinics, among others. Introduced. At Mochoa, the Parliament of Toro Kingdom, we found different stakeholders and the Toro Tourism Ministry empowering the youth. Viani Liazi, Commissioner, Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, says the youth should change their mindset and embrace the new business digital skills. About mindset change, what do we need to do to transform our people so that they focus on business opportunities uh, that are available among them. We've also talked about the need to start small. You don't have to wait until you have a lot of resources uh, to, to make it in life. Diazi says marketing and promotion of individual businesses is a very powerful tool that will help the youth but also boost the tourism sector. Marketing, they say, is like uh, driving a car without headlights at night. Uh, you, you, you know, it's, it's that powerful. It leads you. It opens you up. Everybody gets to know about you. It actually opens the market to you. So we've been really talking about the importance of marketing uh, ourselves, but also marketing the destination in order to attract people to come. Youth constitutes the largest population in Uganda, but many of them are grappling with unemployment. Johan Kanto Elsie, the Minister of Tourism in Toro Kingdom, says youth should interest themselves in tourism. It is also believed that many tourists travel mostly to look for good tourist destinations with great climate. Amos Wekesa, founder of Safari Great Lakes, says Uganda has not utilized this opportunity. Mild climbers who can climb one day, two days, three days, four days, until seven days, uh, the, the technical climbers. So that mountain alone can easily bring a minimum of $300 million within this Toro Kingdom. But that needs positioning. It's not going to happen by itself, but I just like the fact that the people of Toro have actually stood up and are now engaging themselves in promoting their own area. But I also hope that the rest of the country, people from Bugisu, people from... Uh, Wekesa also reveals why Fort Porto is considered a tourism city. Weather is the number one f uh, reason why people travel across the borders. Uh, Visa International, which is interested in travel across the world, does research every single year. And 34 to 36 percent of the people say they travel because they are looking for good weather. So as a country, if we actually told the world that there's no better place in the world with better weather than Uganda, we'd probably be become a donor country. But I think because we like poverty, we have decided to keep quiet about that. This Echoto Hampango will be the first of its kind. It will take place every year a week before the coronation, mostly involving youth who are unemployed. Here at Muchoa, the Parliament for Toro Kingdom, the preparations for a Choto Hampango Cultural and Tourism Festival is underway. However, the ministry has implored the youth to embark on different opportunities in the tourism sector. Yves Masawi, CTV, PM Edition.